New York City is one of the most well-known cities in the world. The Empire State Building, Times Square, and the Guggenheim Museum are all places to go in New York. They all show what the city is all about. Art, culture, engineering feats, and a buzzing energy that people have come to expect from the city that never sleeps. You can also go to the Brooklyn Bridge, Central Park, and the 9-11 Memorial and Museum while you're in New York. When you're next in New York City, be sure to check out what I think are the 10 best things to do there. Number 10. The Vessel This 150-foot-tall staircase monument is worth going to see, not because of the view from the top, but because of its unique design. The Vessel is the newest attraction and landmark in New York City. If you're interested in architecture and design that are one of a kind, you should go see it. Number 9. Little Italy at the end of the 1800s, Italian immigrants moved into this part of Manhattan. They brought their food, language, and other cultural practices with them. This history is still visible today because the streets of Little Italy are lined with restaurants that serve traditional Italian food on red and white checkered tablecloths. De Paolo's Cheese Shop and the Ferrara Bakery and Cafe, which is known for its cannoli and espresso, are two places that have been around for a long time and are still open today. The Feast of San Gennaro is one of the oldest street fairs in New York City. It is held every September to honor the patron saint of Naples with food and entertainment. Number 8. Times Square Times Square is full of glittering billboards, unique characters, world-famous landmarks, and entertainment that has won awards. This commercial area in the middle of Manhattan runs from West 42nd Street to West 47th Street. There are a lot of different places to eat, from high-end restaurants with Michelin-starred chefs to roadside shacks that serve hot dogs and sandwiches. Along Broadway, in Lincoln Center, and all over the theater district, there are a lot of theaters. This is one of the main reasons why Times Square is so popular. Throughout the year, plays and musicals that have won awards are put on. People walk around the neighborhood the most when there are big events, especially on New Year's Eve. Times Square has been in a number of Hollywood movies because it is such a famous place. Because of this, it is something that everyone who visits New York must see. Number 7. One World Observatory Even though there are a million different things to do in New York City, there is only one way to see everything there is to see. You can start by taking a sky pod to the top of the building that is the tallest skyscraper in the Western Hemisphere. At that point, 102 floors up, you will see the famous skyline of New York City. You may have seen other views of cities before, but none exactly like this one. As you walk through the three large floors of the observatory, you will find a lot of interesting things. You should go to the cafe and order something to eat there. After you step on the sky portal, you can go for a walk high above the busy streets. Number 6. Grand Central Grand Central Terminal in Midtown Manhattan is a well-known landmark and a major transportation hub. On February 2, 1913, it was first opened to the general public. Its long and impressive history is not only one of great wealth and brilliant engineering, but also of survival and rebirth. Today, the Bew Arts Monument is a place to shop and eat. It is also where the MTA, Metro North Railroad, and a subway station for the 4, 5, 6, 7, and S subway lines are located. The building is also a National Historic Landmark. There are a few different ways to refer to Grand Central Terminal, the most common of which are Grand Central, the Terminal, and GCT. Just don't call us Grand Central Station because that's the name of either the post office down the street or the subway station below. The four-faced opal clock is one of Grand Central's most popular attractions. It is in the middle of the main concourse, right above the information booth, and is a popular place for tourists and New Yorkers to meet. When you tell a friend to meet me at the clock, you can call yourself a real New Yorker. Grand Central Terminal is one of the most popular places for tourists to visit in New York City. On average, 750,000 people go there every day, making it the second most popular tourist spot after Times Square. Explore this architectural marvel's many hallways to learn not only about its interesting history and the different ways it can help you get around, but also about the famous stores and restaurants that are inside. 
If you go to Grand Central, you can experience the best of what New York City has to offer all under one amazing roof. Number 5. Brooklyn Bridge The Brooklyn Bridge is something else that you have to see if you go to New York. This beautiful piece of architecture took 14 years to build in New York City. During that time, as many as 24 people died because of the bends and other accidents. One of those who died was the person who made the bridge in the first place. Every day, about 150,000 people walk across the beautiful bridge, and about the same number of cars use it. It has been in a number of movies and TV shows, such as Limitless, The French Connection, and Transformers 2. Number 4. The Empire State Building When going to New York, you can't miss going to the top of the Empire State Building. The well-known and much-loved cultural symbol is seen as a wonder because it took so much work to build, and it was once the tallest building in the world. As part of your tour of New York, go to the observatories so you can see the city spread out below you from a bird's-eye view. Number 3. Museum of Art the Metropolitan Museum of Art, also called the Met, is the most famous and largest art museum in the United States, and it's one of the most famous museums in the world. One of the best things to see in New York is its large collection of artworks. You can also eat at the dining room at the Met and the Great Hall Balcony Cafe and Bar. Number 2. Central Park Central Park is a beautiful piece of nature and also one of the best-known parks in the world. It was the first public park to be made in the United States, and over 25 million people visit it every year, making it one of the most popular parks. Its grounds are a safe place not only for athletes, daydreamers, singers, and strollers, but also for millions of migrating birds every year. Because it is in the middle of busy Manhattan, it's a great place for all of these things. One can spend a whole day walking around its grounds and looking at the 50 fountains, monuments and sculptures, as well as the 36 bridges and arches that are there. People who like to be active won't have any trouble finding a place where they can skate, pedal, row, dribble or climb to their heart's content. Even though there are 21 official playgrounds in Central Park, we like to think of the whole park as one big jungle gym when it's busy. Over the past 150 years, a lot of people have been to Central Park. Many of them likened their time there and told others to go. Number 1. The Statue of Liberty The statue is a masterwork of huge statues, which became popular again in the 19th century. It was made in the same style as statues from ancient times, but it has hints of Art Nouveau. The statue was made to honor the ancient Greek god as Athena, who was worshipped there. It showed modern goals while using parts and symbols that came from the past. In addition to the large amount of concrete in the base, the flexible curtain wall construction that holds up the skin and the use of electricity to light the torch, the iron framework inside is a powerful and complex piece of engineering, architecture, and art that shows how things will be in the future. Bartholi and Edouard René de Laboulaye worked together to make the Statue of Liberty a symbol of international friendship, peace, and progress, with a special focus on the historical connection between France and the United States. It got most of its money from subscriptions from other countries, which were very important. The Statue of Liberty is shown holding a copy of the United States Declaration of Independence in her left hand, and the shackles that she stepped out of have been broken. Both of these are very important symbols in the design. And that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do mention your thoughts and places in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.